Perfection. It doesn't exist in humankind. So why do we worship it, seek it, and try to strive for it? Nobody is perfect. Why do people look up to artists, musicians, influencers, actors, stars, models, designers, TV personalities, brands? Why would you want to? They're flawed, just like you and me. And they're not perfect, just like you and me. If you're looking for something perfect to follow and worship, then none of them fit. Everything man-made which we create is flawed. Nothing is perfect, but that is beauty in itself. Flaws are beautiful. They're not errors. They're happy little accidents, said the wonderfully talented artist Bob Ross. Life can be confusing, depressing, devastating, and sometimes feel hopeless. Which way do we go? What do we do? How can we escape from the doom and gloom? How can we stop living in fear? How can we stop living in hell, if it exists, because it certainly feels like it does at times? How can we stop the pain of being ridiculed, poked fun of, mocked, looked down upon, criticised for everything we do, accused of things we didn't do, feeling alone and lonely, as if nobody understands? There's nowhere to turn for help, nothing to do to feel better and there are no manuals or guidebooks to show how to live this thing called life. Well, there is something. There is a guidebook and there are instructions. Pretty clear instructions as it happens. It's called the Bible. When we feel lost and confused, angry and hurt, sad and in pain, then there's a reason why. We're trying to go it alone and solve the puzzle of life with no direction, not knowing what we're doing. Whatever we're going through, whatever is happening and whatever way we're feeling, there are clear instructions on what we can do. When we're following idols that are imperfect and wonky, just like us, then it's not going to work. We can love the art, the music, the poetry, or whatever the creativity is we admire, without worshipping the person who created it. We can love them and let them inspire us, but we don't worship them and idolise them. That's a mistake, and the Bible tells us that quite clearly. Humankind isn't perfect in any way, but God is perfect in every way. So that's who we worship. We worship what is perfect, and that's only the start.